This video is part of a project for the Element 14 community, the electronics and engineering community where you can connect and collaborate with top engineers from around the world. Join now at element14.com, link in the doobly-doo. So I have here a collection of luminescent devices from the Hazard Fraught. Now they're all pretty much just uh, LED and LED chip on board devices, uh, but I need to harvest some parts out of them. So we're gonna take them apart and kind of see what's going on. Hey baby, if you like making electrical connections, and screwing around in the shop, why don't you click that subscribe button? Oh, you click it so well. Go ahead and ring my bell so you don't miss anything. Now let's get it on. All right, first off, we have this like, ooh, that's bright. Ooh, Lord. Um, this uh, light switch thingy. It's got, uh, as you can see, it's got two uh, chip on board. It says it requires four AAA batteries. Um, that to me says that each of these is a three volt. Uh, LED board, but we'll find out once we take this thing apart. And let's just start working on this. Pull that off. Oh, take the battery cover with it. I'll take the batteries out anyway. Yeah, so looks like it's two separate circuits here um, with uh, three volts on each side. So. Of the brand name Warriors, made in China. LVZHudainZ.com.China. Oh, looks like some magnets on the back here. And it's just really like cheapo plastic. There's our uh, big flappy paddle switch uh, that uh, uncovers just a standard, um, just a standard like little uh, slide switch inside there. Uh, I guess that's a heck of a lot cheaper. This is just a little, looks like, yeah. That's all that is, it's just holding the thing in place. Okay, so there's our switch. I feel like Big Clive doing it this way. Just a wee bit of torque there. I need like a cup of coffee and, a, and an MRE <laughs> to do this. Oh, look at there, there we go. So we got this Fresnel uh, lens collector lens thing there. And well, let's see, looks like positive. Oops. Got some new diddly magnets in there. So the switch is on its own little board here with a um, bunch of resistors. Just a bunch of resistors there. And then positive, positive. So they're in series, actually. Interesting. So the whole thing is a, a five or a six volt system. Yeah, we'll clip it. Clip that. And we will clip that. We'll take a look and see what kind of voltage this thing takes. Okay, so we got her hooked up. And we're drawing about 30 milliamps at uh, 2.6 volts, 2.5 volts. Uh, I could turn it down to like 2.5 volts, but yeah, it's close. Okay, so 30 milliamps will work, and it's pretty darn bright. You can't really tell uh, just looking at it, but it is pretty darn bright. All right, next up we have this three and a half inch mini flashlight two pack. Super bright 70 lumen output and knurled barrel for better grip. Yeah, it is knurled, isn't it? It's got the Hazard Fraught branding on there. So it comes with batteries, so we're gonna get some batteries in here. This one's fairly easy. We just take the back off there. There's the back of our thing. Oh, look at there. 
These are interesting. These are like C-cell adapters. Uh, so it's three, uh, three triple A's that, uh, that go into this and they make a, a C-cell. Mm hmm. I think I have to come from the back to do this one. Oh, there it is. Let's go from the other side. Okay. Okay, so we got our little reflector, our little chip here, a little chippy chip. So it looks like it's um, probably uh, negative on the outside, positive on the interior. And we have a beat up aluminum tube <laughs> and three AAA cells and a C cell adapter. Ha! There it is. Lastly, we have these LED puck lights. Three pack of these little guys. Remember when these were like as seen on TV? A tabloid, a tabloid. The, the English guy who did like all the infomercials for a while, the pitch man, he was like basically the like English Billy Mays or whatever. Oh, there it goes. Battery's not included. All right, well, we do have a little sticky bit. Okay, right. now, let's see. Right, that's your switch, okay. Thinking, we could just get up under here and pry this guy out. Oh, I could just break everything. Why not? It's like the cheapest crap. There we go. Pop that out. Okay, let's see. Yeah, so these are actually glued in, so you, you have to tear apart this little cheap piece of plastic here in order to get anything out. That's probably... Well, it just looks like they're plastic welded or tap, you know, tap that little peg with a uh, soldering iron, just like on the other ones. While they're putting all this stuff together, they boop, boop, and put it on there and boop, 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 with a soldering iron, and there you go. I'm sure. One size pause, one size neg. Of course, they're both red wires, so great. Wonderful. There's our switch. Switch bit. Push button switch, and then three LEDs there. And a little resistor, that's a brown, black, black. That's a 100 ohm resistor. So that one is not so much useful, but I do like this little board, and I can use that little board. Two sides, double-sided tape, that's already used. A lens, and plastic housing. So there we are, we have three different Harbor Freight branded illumination devices. All of them are LED based. So it's kind of a toss up between the switch light and the flashlight uh, as to who is the most useful. The C-cell battery adapter is quite useful, especially because I use a lot of rechargeables that don't really come in this size. So if I need C cells for anything, I can just put three triple A's in here and good to go. I have one LED here, a push button switch. Over here, we have a slide switch, uh, two chip on board LEDs, which are very useful and a selection of batteries that I'm not gonna use. Um, oh and uh, a couple of neodymium magnets and some hook and loop tape. So maybe it's the switch, maybe it's the flashlight. This is certainly the least useful of the three in terms of just parts harvesting. However, we do get a nice little uh, clicky switch like we do here and we get three bulb 
LEDs, three Parabellum LEDs. Parabellum. Parabellum. Yeah, Parabellum, why not? Three bulb LEDs uh, instead of the chip on board LEDs. So we will be putting these parts into the parts bin as necessary. Now, you can follow along on social media over here, Instagram and Twitter. Uh, subscribe down here. Here's a video that YouTube thinks you will probably enjoy. And down here are the show notes for this episode. You find the whole bill of materials here, as well as more details on what this is actually going to go into. Project Eros. Until next time, my name is Atari. And until then, tally ho, y'all.